Hey there, this is a uh, quick overview of a tree generator plugin that I've been creating pretty recently. Well, all today. So I, I had a lot of free time today and I've always wanted to make a tree generation plugin. You know, it's, it's always nice to be able to just quickly throw in a bunch of trees into your game that look different, but still like decently nice. Um, and so I've been wanting to build this plugin for years now and I just finally did it. It's not perfect, it's not done, it's not ready to be released yet, but I wanted to show what I have so far so maybe people could throw out suggestions or ideas for what I should add on and ways I could change it to make it better. So, um, yeah, I don't even have an icon for it yet, but when you open up the plugin, um, you get a mess of different properties that you can set to, to tweak how the generation process works. Um, and so just to demonstrate it right away, you just click and it will generate a single tree. And you can see right now it has a animation to it. So yeah, it's pretty simple, basic looking tree, pretty basic generation process as well. So uh, just to go through the properties really quick, you have the max iterations property, which sets how many times it um, will iterate through the branches. So you can imagine the, the first iteration is the trunk, and the second iteration it branches off here and there, third iteration all here and here, um, and so it does that four times. The starting width defines the, the width um, of the trunk. Uh, you could consider that to be the, the, um, the diameter, if you will. Um, you also can set the starting height of the trunk as well. And what's nice is that you can also set the, the width and height variation. And so each time you click, um, you know, based on the, the variation factor set here, the starting width and height might actually be a little different per tree. Also here we have the width and height diminish factor. And so this defines um, how much each branch shrinks in size per iteration. And so you can imagine if it's 0.8, then if the size is one here, then the next branch is gonna be 0.8. So it's, it's a multiplication factor of that. Um, you also can set the branch material to whatever material you want um, in the branch color. And it also has a branch color variation and so by some little factor, the, the color will actually be able to be changed too. Now, the, the tricky part here is that plugins don't have a way to easily select colors. Um, so I've, I've sent in a request to hopefully allow plugins to be able to utilize the built-in color editor or color picker. Um, but for now, we're left with really the option of either um, creating our own color picker, which is really hard, or just finding some other weird hacky way to do it. And so for now, I've chosen the hacky direction so if I click on the brown color here, I actually have this um, color three value that gets selected in which I can then change the value of the color here. So you can see um, the value on the plugin is changing as I change the color here. Um, next up we have the leaves material and color and color variation um, and the leaf size and the leaf size variation. So very similar to the other things up there. All right, and the last things we have are these um, three flags at the bottom. We have the grow animation, which you've been seeing in the background as I accidentally click everywhere. Um, if I turn that off, it'll just put a tree immediately. Um, I can also check whether or not I want rounded branches. So for instance here, now it's using cylinder meshes on the branches in the trunk. And you can also flag whether or not you want the model to be locked. So now I can't select it because it's locked. So yeah, those are the general properties of this, or the only properties of this plugin that you can tweak to generate trees. Again, if you guys have any ideas as to what would make this better or what I should add, please let me know. Um, and then I will release this pretty soon.